what's up guys here is the server in i almost said installation the server setup tutorial that i promised so when you download homachi links are in the description it's going to show up like this you click the power button let it do its thing and then most likely another window will pop up asking you to create a, an account i don't remember if it does or not i did just so my name would show up and everything but you can go to system and then it should be under there so anyways the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a network or the person who's hosting the server is going to want to create a network click on network click create network and the id can be whatever you want so let me think of something creative all right there we go and then you're going to want to put a password on it so for this i'll just use one two three and then one two three and boom create so there we go you're going to want your friends to come up here to network and click join and type in everything what we just did so if you want this domain i don't know if you could call it domain but if you want that name and you want to claim it for yourself feel free because i just deleted it because i already have one set up right here so once jose gets on he'll show up with a green dot but if he was hosting what i would want to do is i would want to right click on his name and i would click copy ipv4 but because i'm the host and this is my channel i have to do it for myself so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your file explorer and you're going to want to go to wherever you have skyrim saved so like for me it's in my external hard drive but for you it would be local disk program files steam uh steam apps common and then find skyrim so for me it's right here skyrim special edition server this is what we're looking for right now if you've already installed harbor you should have this so you would click server and then you would run the server exe i have a shortcut even though i dragged the shortcut onto my desktop but whatever but yes you would uh you want to run this and you want to have this open all the time when you guys are playing because this is what this is what hosts the server so then once you've done that once you're in you load up harbor and then just like in the last video you press your right control and you bring up that menu and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to paste the ipv4 address into the address and there you go and you can see here stuff has changed on my server so that's literally all there is to it but you can pretty much do everything uh quests are a little weird like right now me and my friend are doing the main quest and i had already started it well he went up to talk to the graybeards and because i had already completed that part of the of the quest they acted like he had completed it as well so i mean it's a little glitchy but overall i've had way more fun the first day we tried playing this so stay tuned for the videos that we're going to be pumping out on this but i hope that this helps you and your friends now remember this it says you can play with eight people but i've heard that once you get over five it starts to get really buggy and then eight is just horrendous so i would stay three maybe four people at most but that's up to you if you want to take the risk by all means let me know how it works out please that's really all I have for this episode. Once again, if you have any questions, please comment down below and either myself or maybe someone else will try to help you out. So my name is Carnage. I hope this really did help you and I hope you have an awesome day. Peace out.